Yes. Come on up, man. Um, yep, I All am. Right, so you're pro-choice, right? All right, awesome. Um, don't you think it's gross to well, I mean, uh, take the life of an innocent person? Substantiate the claim that a zygote or a fetus that doesn't feel, think, or experience as a person. Um, but I mean, that's a philosophical point and it's very up for debate. Different people have different definitions of what it means to be a person. And I doubt my definition of personhood agrees with your definition of personhood. Yeah, we know personhood is subjective. I'm very aware uh, pro-choicers are very subjective on the majority of their beliefs and the majority of standards. Um, that's why pro-choice position is very inconsistent. And depending on who you ask, the pro-choicer you ask, you're going to have to argue different ways. But that is and not that's my our standard. standards for personhood are very different. I'm guessing is? you'd say human alive, but um, you'd probably I'm not, not argue, apply that argue. standard to sperm, which is like, human and alive. I doubt you think a sperm is a person. A, a sperm is not. Hey, hold on. No, now you're, girl. I, I passed science, anatomy, physiology, biology with flying clover. Colors. Sperm is you human. Sperm, sperm is alive. Science. Sperm is not a person. The zygote is human. The zygote is alive. The zygote is not a person. Why then? The zygote isn't either for the same reason that sperm is not a person. That's not true. You know, sperm is only half of the necessary chromosomes, right? Well, they good, so well, it's not a human being alive. because it only has half the necessary chromosomes. It needs an the organism. Egg. It needs, no, it needs an egg. It needs, it needs both. It's a both and in order to become 46 chromosomes. Like I said, I will cook you in the science, so don't try to play stupid. It's not, an or, it's so, not a human so a organism. It is human, is human and it being. is alive. By, but it's still human life. It's, yes. it's half of the human DNA. It's human. It is not a human life. Alive. No, it is it's half human life. Of yes. What it's is not a human, human or it's not a human organism. It's not a human. A, a sperm itself is not a human life. A sperm it's itself, human. an egg itself, is not a human life. So hold on. So when a woman um, gets her a period, why don't we call it a miscarriage? A period. They're not the same thing, so we don't call it. Wait, hold on. So if something happens to the sperm and you're saying, oh, a sperm is alive, a sperm is its own, it's, a, it's an individual, an individual human, human being, like you're stupidly arguing, how come every time life. a woman- An egg is also human life. Cancer is also human, human life. life. You said it's a human life. It is individual not a hu human individual being. human being. It is 23 life. chromosomes. It is not complete no, right. It is not a complete life. You're putting words in my mouth. I didn't say what individual say? human being. I said a human life. There's they they can be different, right? It's not a human. Is, sperm, is a sperm a human being? Okay. Okay. So therefore, you need the egg in order to make an um, individual human being. You need a lot more being, than just correct? the egg. You need somebody's uterus and. Uh, consent for that right i agree but you only you only no you're not arguing like consent and logistics stop trying to jump only, around you don't, don't only around, need okay? to create doing, that like a person you don't only need a sperm and an egg you also need the uterus and the person that's developing what is it i don't believe nature necessarily has purposes right um, because I don't well, think the question is valid. Question. I like purpose. Can you can, can, can yes. conception can conception happen outside of the uterus? Because okay, the perfect. So you don't necessarily need a uterus, uterus, right? Because you can house right. you can house a fertilized egg in an incubator, right? You can house a fertilized egg in an incubator, right? It's called IVF. Even though I'm, I'm against IVF, people, can you can, conce can yes. conception can conception happen outside of the uterus? Because okay, the perfect. So you don't necessarily need a uterus, uterus, right? Because you can house right. you can house a fertilized egg in an incubator, right? 
you can house a fertilized egg in an incubator, right? It's called IVF. Even though I'm, I'm against IVF, people still go through with IVF. If fertilized right? embryo without the uterus, then yeah, no being will develop. What do you mean? What person, like the woman? What person is attached? You think a woman think is attached the to the fetus? The, is to attached the, via the fetus? placenta to a person, yeah. You know the placenta is also yeah. delivered during delivery, right? Yeah, it's not I the actual to, mother. The, the placenta is actually attached yeah. to the baby, right? Right. Did you pass biology one hundred and one? One hundred and ten percent. Hell yeah! Highest Did you pass biology one hundred and one? Because well, clearly, you think uh, my final like a sperm kind of can just is. I think human. that to develop a fertilized embryo needs another person. Yeah, to develop. And that in order to develop, you will need that person's consent yeah, for sure. I agree. Nobody's arguing for grape or anything else. We're talking about if, you know, uh, something that's considered alive should be unalived or not. That's okay what we're talking to, about. Well, you think again, it's okay to unalive another person, person for one, I don't. but I think it's okay to unattach any person who's attached to your <laughs> internal organs against your will. For sure. <laughs> You want to hear something crazy? My standard as a pro-lifer isn't personhood. It's the fact that life begins at conception. Therefore, if you take um, away something that's alive, um, you're schmurder. Removing it. something from being attached to your internal concept? organs against your will isn't schmurder because it's justified. Schmurder is unjust concept? organs against your will isn't schmurder because it's justified. Schmurder is unjustified unaliving, but it's always justified to remove anyone attached to your internal organs against your will. What if you can always what if remove you them the because consent in? is freely given and irrevocable. Okay. By, by killing it? By killing it? Oh, I just said remove it. If it unalives it because it doesn't it? have homeostasis, that's fine. It's not on you. You're just removing it. What if it ends with death? No, 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 no. What if the goal, what if the goal of a procedure is to no. end the life? Wouldn't you think that's murder? Because it's attached to my internal organs against my will. And nobody has a right to be attached to somebody else's internal organs against their will. Like, I can't be attached okay. to So it's using its body. It's using, it's I can't be attached to your internal that, organs. Is my body my choice your argument? Mine, that's equal rights. You're not my child. You're not my child, and I did not invite you to come and to use my body. But when someone op when a woman opens her legs and doesn't use protection, then uh, welcome the results of so inter you intercourse. Use protection, then abortion put two and two is fine together, in it's pregnancy. Nope, but we're not arguing. We're not arguing morals. We're arguing basic biology <laughs> That's facts, hilarious. which apparently um, you don't know anything about. So when you consent to Schmex, you're not consenting to sustaining a pregnancy, right? I think right. you are so aware the consequences of, the consequences of um, it's a an unwanted pregnancy action. can be abortion, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't call. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call something that's natural and a uh, cause and effect case something that is, you know, natural. I wouldn't say it's necessarily no, like natural doesn't a equal consequence. Good, right? No, I wouldn't like, call a baby a sunlight consequence. Sunlight is natural, but it still gives people skin cancer, right? Yeah, too much of it, but I don't think I'm comparing a fetus or a well, baby, an whatever you want to call it, to is cancer. An is an unwanted pregnancy. It's not wanted, right? It from your body is fine. Yeah. So, okay, that's welcome to the pro-choice logic, guys. Because they don't want it, they think they're gods over their own body. They can uh, kill another human being. What if a mother who had a newborn baby all of a sudden decides not to want to take care of it, not wanting to I'd breastfeed okay it or anything like that? Would you be okay with taking a knife baby and stabbing the newborn from her baby? Proximity, yeah, like taking it to a safe drop box and dropping it off. Yeah. Oh, so what's, so what's the difference between an unborn baby that's nine months pregnant or about to be born right? and a newborn? But there's still completely different between being attached to somebody 
and then being dependent on any person who could feed them, right? There's a difference between being inside of someone attached to their organs and not inside of someone attached to their organs. Okay. The, body, the mother's body is still completely needed and the baby is still completely dependent on the mother. One is just outside the womb, one is inside the womb. It's, it's no longer so what attached is it about to your the internal organs. That's that the big difference. A, like, a knife inside of me is different than a knife outside of me, right? What, okay, so back to my question. What's so magical? Uh, what's so magical about the birth canal that all it's of a sudden no a, a, a baby gains personhood outside the womb? Imagine. Well, I still don't it's still as completely the dependent is, on no you as it was in your the internal womb. organs. Against your will. So what's, but it's still going to be completely dependent on you, if not much more work because you have it outside the womb and you have to do much more work. So again, what is it about the birth canal that brings to giving birth? Okay, so nobody ever said that. I'm saying what is the difference between like what's so magical about the birth no canal that automatically to grants someone organs personhood? against the, womb. the difference. The same thing when they're not like that's a logical fallacy called false equivalency yeah yeah that's what the only difference is the only difference the only difference is location one's inside one's outside a person outside. is never a location and it's kind reason, of gross that you call baby, a person a location you said it's just a location a well my internal location. organs being attached Wait, being to my internal organs is not just a location no, right it, i'm a person i'm not a location being inside the womb, being inside yeah. the womb, and being because outside the womb. One's inside a person, and one's not locations. inside the a person. Is There's a different location. Location. Okay, so again, my question is what's so magical about the birth because canal no that grants the baby attached to my internal organ? My will. But it's, but it's but it's equal. So again, if you're, I'm correct. It's the location of the, the baby. Difference between inside difference being a person inside and not womb inside outside a the person. womb, correct? Exactly, yes. No is longer dependent so on being attached to my internal organs. Exactly. Oh, okay, so you're arguing that location. So again, rights. you're going <laughs> not, to still that, have not, to like, use your body. It's bone. not a location. The person is not a location. So what? So what? Okay, so let me let me rephrase this again. Something you can't answer. What is it about the baby being born no longer that makes it to a person? Internal organs against their will. Let me go in circles. This is so stupid. So what is it about the birth canal that makes it a person? Because it's still going to be dependent on the mother. It's crazy. We're going around in circles. Can never get a solid answer. You see that? It's no longer attached to my body. It still needs your body as much as it's going to outside the womb. Mm -hmm.